hello everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see here this is the asus notebook pc we're going to check out the model number first okay so the actual model number is asus e203m okay this is upside down let me show you properly okay as you can see this is the actual model number the problem is this is very basic netbook pc limited in configuration so it's very difficult um, because there is no way to upgrade the ssd or ram this is kind of fixed okay and recently a lot of people they got issue with windows reinstallation they said they are failure they don't find any boot option that's the reason why i am here to show you why the standard bootable windows 10 disk doesn't work in it there are two reasons First of all, as you can see here, both USB contain with bootable Windows 10. One of them UEFI format, another one UEFI plus legacy, both of them enabled. Okay, so you know, this is the standard bootable USB drive. Normally everybody does have that one. So if I connect that one, this BIOS option can't recognize this is as a boot device. But when I connect that, that one, which is EVFI format, it does recognize and pops up into the boot menu. So we're going to check in division and I will try to show you what is the reason and how you can resolve this issue. So first I'm going to try the legacy and UEFI both settings in here. So I'm going to connect it and press F2. So that's the actual BIOS, quite impressive, lovely design. Okay, so as you can see here, boot priority option only one, but this is EZ mode. We need to go to advanced. So how are we gonna get to advanced mode? We're gonna press F7. Okay, from F7, if you go to boot menu, you can see here only one enable while this is connected okay so that's mean this is the standard bootable windows 10 drive doesn't work in here we need the custom uefi build one and how to create this uefi based bootable windows 10 disk you can check uh, the link in the description below so you'd know how to do that but now what are you going to do we're going to go to security first okay From security you're gonna see the secure boot is disabled but still it doesn't show okay your one definitely enable if this is in if your one is in default mode the default mode always comes enable now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep the settings as it is and I will take out that one and put this one UEFI one and restart the computer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press F10. Okay. Again, I'm gonna keep pressing F2 just to get into BIOS. And this time definitely we're gonna see this USB drive in the boot list. Here you go. As you can see here, EF5 SanDisk, that's the one. Okay, so if you don't see your one here, definitely you go wrong one. Okay, you must need to have UEFI Windows 10 bootable disk. Okay, if you don't have, check in the description how to create one. So now, what do you need to do? Again, we need to press F7 or you can put F8 just for the boot menu. F8. And from here, now if I hit enter it will straight away restart and go to the it will go to the setup mode it takes a while about four to five minutes sometimes even longer so just be patient and wait for it
all right there you go as you can see this is the windows setup installation page select whatever you want to select your priority i choose the united kingdom click next install now and luckily this machine you know the trackpad is working because most of the machines similar to that when you get to the installation page the keyboard does work but the trackpad stop working i mean it gets to disabled you know but this is absolutely fine so now we need to accept the terms and condition click next and from here if you want to do the clean Windows setup then you need to get into customs as you can see here there are many partition if you want you can delete all of them and create repartition but I don't want to do that or if you want to leave the existing partition then you can format and reinstall it but I'm not going to do that because I already done it this is just only for the video purpose okay and still if you do have any question regarding it please make sure you leave it in the comment section I will try my best to reply as soon as possible and thank you so much for watching this video I hope I will see you again in my channel thank you so much bye for now